Well, in 1970, autism affected one in every 10,000 kids in the U.S. Today, that rate has skyrocketed to one in 68. As the number continues to rise, the search for a cure grows. A Grafton family has been living with autism for 11 years. WDAZ reporter Rose Rementer has their story. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't given much direction or much hope when he was first diagnosed. Charlie Kern was a typical two-year-old boy until one day Charlie stopped talking. His parents Joe and Janice Kern took action immediately, bringing in experts from Right Track and Infant Development. Right away, Charlie was diagnosed with autism. It's difficult to receive a diagnosis for your child that changes everything that changes all your expectations for the future. The Kearns were told Charlie might never speak again. They were given little hope, but from the start, Janice wasn't about to give up. We took the same route to school every day. We had to look at the same things every day on our way to school. And even when everything was in place all the time, he would still end up laying on the sidewalk crying before he would go into school. He is able to function as well as he does now because of uh, an extremely motivated mother. Janice learned how to do behavioral therapy activities, which she then taught her family. She learned how diet affects children with autism and continues to this day to work on Charlie's progress and the results are dramatic. But today, Charlie gets on his bike and pedals across town to school by himself and I see him after he comes home. Janice's drive doesn't stop there. She started a local chapter of talking about curing autism, or TACA. And what we want to do is make it easier for families today than it was for families 10 years ago, speeding up the time between diagnosis and getting effective treatment in place for the child with autism. The national organization provides online and in-person resources for families with children living with autism. From education to therapists to finding a place to get your child a haircut. There's nothing about getting a haircut in the diagnostic criteria about autism. But if you ask any family affected by autism, they can tell you a lot of times that haircuts are really a big challenge. In North Dakota, progress is being made statewide as well. When Charlie was diagnosed a decade ago, the Kearns had to track down a therapist and pay out of pocket. Now many places provide these opportunities for families at little or no cost. Charlie has made a lot of progress and having a camera in his home isn't routine, but he's being a great sport. Charlie, tell me something you want to achieve. Going to college. Gain your driver's license. 13-year-old Charlie attends 7th grade full-time. The Kearns tell us the best thing they've done is go into the school and talk to teachers and fellow students about autism, educating everyone so they better understand why Charlie does the things the way he does. He needs extra time. He needs things to be a little quieter. Your squealing voice is really upsetting to him. A big crowd, like in the lunchroom, is really hard for him. The 11 years living with autism isn't holding Charlie back from anything a typical teenager does. His success story isn't uncommon, but the Kearns tell us every case of autism is different. There's a saying that when you've seen one child with autism, you've seen one child with autism, because they're all completely different. Charlie tells us he loves science, taekwondo, playing the piano, and running cross country. Charlie has tons of language now, <laughs> complains like any teenager, talks like most teenagers. He just constantly exceeds our expectations and gives us hope. Reporting in Grafton, Rose Rementer, WDAZ News. What a remarkable young boy. Well, organizations like All True Hospital are helping families just like the Kearns. The medical center provides free autism screenings every other month. The child interacts with the doctor along with with physical, occupational, and speech therapists. The screening takes under an hour and the child is diagnosed at the same appointment. If the child is diagnosed with autism or another disorder, the family is provided with education for treatment and therapy options. I think the important thing is, is that everything is individualized. There is not one, you know, one cookie cutter plan for each child really has such different needs as well. A big way Altru helps raise money for children with autism and other needs is the Spin for Kids event. It's being held the morning of Saturday, April 18th from 8.30 until 12.30. They're looking for volunteers, including people to ride a stationary bike.